Hey, what's happening, everybody? Shawnee Beats here, and today I'm gonna start up a new series, Fallout 3, with the possible announcement of Fallout 4. It kind of got me like more excited about it, so I've decided to go on to Fallout 3 and start a playthrough with that, just preparing for Fallout 4's possible announcement. And then by the time I probably finish it, the game will probably have a release date or whatever. Or maybe when they announce it, they'll have it, but I don't know. It could be delayed, it could be anything, but by the time I finish it, maybe it'll be out. Who knows? Probably next year. I don't think this will take me a year, but whatever. Alright, so. New game. Hold on, hold on a minute. Let's just real quick. Uh, pick it on hard. Hard. Uh, let's see, anything else? Turn music off. Radio's gonna be off. Actually, no, I'll turn music up a little. No. No. No music. Because I'll get gay copyright crap. I don't need that. Alright, let's begin, shall we? Also, I hope this plays is 60 frames per second. I don't have to see that. Also, this is pretty mod. It's heavily modded. A little bit. Let's see. Oh, wait a minute. Hold on a second. Play. Why the hell is that all the way up there? Subtitles on. Fair enough. A boy or a girl? I'm gonna be a boy. It's a boy. A boy. What, what, what? We've got what is a going on here? A beautiful, healthy baby boy. Oh boy. Oh, oh, James. We did it! A son! A beautiful son! You've got a bright future ahead of you, son. Yes, we do. I'm sure. I do, of course. You don't. Look at you. Look uh, at I you. think I can look at me. Hi there. I see my legs. I'm your daddy, little guy. Daddy. You're going to need a name, aren't you? Your mother and I have been talking. What do you think about... Hmm. I'm gonna be... The real McCoy. I'm the real McCoy. That's a good name, don't you think? I think so, because I made it up. Perfectly. Looks like they've finished the gene projection. Let's see what you'll look like when you're all grown up. Oh, uh, uh, let's see. I don't understand why this looks so bad. Like regular Fallout 3, vanilla, this doesn't look bad. Like, it looks fine. This just looks like garbage. I'm gonna be Caucasian. I have to go to preset 10 and then change his hairstyle to. Blast back. Hair colors on me all black. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna make him stand out from the rest. Oh. You know what I wish they had? I wish they had the Goku hair. Because Super Saiyan God. Actually, Super Saiyan God Super Saiyan. You guys didn't see that. I mean, that shit's, a, that shit's a crazy. I don't understand how they... Oh, Kiri Toriyama's gonna keep on adding this bullshit transformations. Especially against Frieza. Yes. Oh, if only I can, like... Make him, like, have an orange beard. I probably can't. No. Oh, that's lame. Can't be doing that, how can we? Yes. 
Alright, this means I kind of have to make a... Done and done. You're going to look a lot like your dad. I look nothing See like that, you. <laughs> oh, jeez, oh. Louise. Oh, very strapping. <laughs> You're not a ginger. It's a big world out there, son, full of all sorts of people. What about you? What kind of person are you going to be? The best. Oh yeah, that's right. I have the uh, alternate start point because I don't like people have played this game so much. Like, you already know what the hell is going to go on with the, uh, the beginning. You mean, you, you grow up in the vaults, have your birthday party, get ruined, get your cake ruined by some robot. Then you have, then you fight some kid. Well, you don't really fight him because you can't for some reason. I'd, I'd rather fight him. Then you go to high school, take the goat, then your dad disappears two years later. The end. Repair. <gasps> All guns. Speech. Speech. Or we're gonna sneak later. Yeah. Alright, I'm gonna put this as for myself. No, oh, hold on a minute. Eight. There. You're just a James. Catherine. Catherine. James. She's in Carter. My mom's black. Dad's white. The baby out of here. I move, turned into move. a ginger. One one thousand. Two one thousand. Come on. Hang on, Catherine. Hang on. Okay. You you. All right. This is where we leave Vault 101. Awesome. 60 frames per second, yo. Oh shit. What the hell happened here? I didn't see these before. Alright. Ah. Silky smooth frame rates. I love it. Alright, so. I'm GNR. Too bad I can't listen to you. Same half life, you can just throw shit around. Ah. Oh, you know what I forgot to do? I forgot the sprint mod. Oh well. well. For some reason, this game used to lag like shit for me. Even on my on the same exact rig, and now it's have all these mods, graphic mods, and all that BS. And now it's fantastic. Oh yeah, that's right. This allows you to adjust your field of view by using the arrow keys. I'm using Fook too, by the way. Uh, I'll probably have the list of mods in the description. Because I know you guys would like to download all these things, or you perhaps already have them. Who knows. But this is just a playthrough of just going through Fallout. See, going back to where Bethesda... Oh, Gary Fredrickson is unconscious. Who the hell is that? Oh, it must be this guy. Oh, Raiders. Wait, do I even have anything to protect myself? Oh, I do. Bastards. Well, it's new guns. Interdynamic KG-9, Raider Commando armor, head wrap. Wow. That actually gives me stuff? That's amazing. This guy has a lead pipe, Raider Commando armor, and eye patch. Another head wrap. And just for shits and giggles, we're gonna put this head wrap on. Red flower. Oh, Jesus Christ. Where are you going? You're supposed to be over here. 
What was he doing? Oh, that's the homeless guy. Ah. Uh, can't wait to upload this to 60 frames. It's gonna look awesome. You're from that vault, Vault 101. Yes. I ain't seen one of those jumpsuits in a long time. Oh, it's because nobody wants to go here. Name's Lucas Sims, town sheriff, what and mayor to too, when the need arises. What is, what is wrong with your lips, dude? And your eyes are all blue. Oh, that wasn't like that before. Nice town you got here, sheriff. It's a pleasure to meet you. <laughs> nice hat, Calamity Jane. Say nothing. That's something Batman would do. Say nothing. Friendly and well-mannered. I think we're gonna get along just fine. You treat my people nice, and you're welcome to stay as long as you'd like. I, I would stay here no matter what. Right. Message received. You don't scare me. Say nothing. I'm glad we understand each other. Now, is there something I can help you with? Hmm, there's a lot of things you can help me with. Like, help my dad, help find my dad for me. I mean, you can just go out in the wasteland, just go look for him yourself. So why don't you just sit back here and take over your town? Uh, alright. I'm looking for my father. He wears a pit boy like me. Maybe you've seen him. Do you know anyone who's looking for a traveling partner? I could use a hand. I could use some directions around town. Well, to be honest, you really don't need directions, because it's all one big circle. Oh, let's discuss this bomb. Know anything ar about the area outside Megaton? Tell me more about your town. I have to go. All right. Nope. Sorry. I got enough fires to put out in this place that I don't have time to keep tabs on every visitor. I'd ask around town. Oh, I'm pretty sure you've probably seen his ass. All right. Discuss the bomb. What about it? Do you think someone just should disarm this thing? Who would build a town around a bomb? That's crazy. That is true. Who the hell would do that? One day, that thing's gonna go off, and you're living on borrowed time. Don't you think someone should disarm this bomb? I don't trust any of the locals to tinker with it. Besides, most people don't even realize it's still a threat. Clinton. And hell, Cromwell and those crazies from the Church of Adam, they worship the damn thing. Why? You think you got the know-how to disarm it? For good? I could see about disarming that bomb for you. Whatever. I don't plan on sticking around very long anyway. If that bomb ever explodes, it would be doing a world of favor. That's messed up. Oh, alright. Fine. But listen here. Just take a look at it first. Go easy. If you get the job done, there'll be 100 caps in it for you. Not an option, I'm afraid. We aren't exactly rolling in cash down here. Bullshit. Here you are. 100 caps? Alright, let's do this. Great. Go ahead and see what you can do. Just be careful. Uh, okay. Let's Don't go. fool around with that bomb unless you know what you're doing. Oh, wow, he, he's not gonna, like, talk to me, like, right after I talk to him? Because normally what he does is that, like, whenever I stop talking to him at, like, the first time, like, then I start moving, and then he starts talking to me again. Like, I got my eye on you. And I'm like, alright, dude, that's cool. Alright. Alright, alright, this is weird. Look, look, look at this. Goes from bright, a little brighter, and turns to a shade of gray. Not fifty shades. Oh shit. Men, oh. Women and children of the earth come forth to gather and behold the power of Adam. Well, at least they made it so it's like on a pedestal. Not just sitting on the ground. Plus it retextured whoever made this. Whoever made the mod Well I think Fook does this, but they add, it adds like a whole bunch of mods. Of war is our salvation. It is the very symbol of Adam's glory. Let it serve oh, why am I even as a sorry? reminder of the oh, I'm tired. That has occurred in the past. And okay, the why am I just looking at this freaking bomb? Don't even think. I just did. 
Screw your cow. Alright, we're gonna visit a very friendly person. We all know her. She's our annoying acquaintance. New weapon shipment from Henko and Koch has arrived. Oh. Awesome. Freak. Hey! I hear you're that stray from the vault! Oh, I haven't seen one of you for years. It's because they try staying away from you. Good to meet you! I'm Moira Brown. I run Craterside Supply. But what I really do is mostly tinkering and research. Say, I'm working on a book about the wasteland. It'd be great to have the foreword by a vault dweller. Help me out, would you? I mean, I've only been out there for like 15 minutes and nothing. I, al I almost died from raiders. Enough said. Sure, great. I got plenty of things to say. Just tell me what it's like to live underground all your life. Or, or to come outside for the first time, or whatever strikes your fancy. Like I said, I almost died from raiders. Just by going into this town, to be exact. Alright, let's see. It was paradise down there. No fear, no worries, no fighting. Well, actually, there was some fighting. I fought Butch a couple of times, and won. Till Dad left. This outside place is amazing. In the main room, I can't even see the ceiling. I was sent as an ambassador from the Utopia Vault 101. Bow down to my glory. How do you people live out here? I haven't found a food dispenser anywhere. It was cramped, dark, the food sucked. Good riddance. It was paradise. It's great. A runaway dad, huh? I've seen plenty of them before, but none with the big 101 on their back. Ha 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 ha. Good luck finding him. Maybe the armored vault suit will help you out there, huh? Well, where the hell did you get That'll that? That'll be good for the book. In fact, want to help me with the research? I can pay you, and it'll be fun. What's this book you're working on? Pay? What sort of pay? And what sort of work? Not interested. I'm just doing some shopping. What's this book you're working on? Well, it's a dangerous place out there in the wastes, right? People could really use a compilation of good advice, like a wasteland survival guide. Yes. For that, I need an assistant to test my theories. I wouldn't want anyone to get hurt because of a mistake. Nobody's ever happy when that happens. No, then they just yell a lot at me with mean, mean words. Well, they have good reason for that, lady. Sounds like a great idea. I can't wait to help. Okay, I guess I'll help you with the survival guide. Tell me more about the pay. I'm afraid I'm gonna have to pass. Sorry. Hell no, crazy girl. I won't be a lab rat. That sounds like a great idea. Good enthusiasm! Now, I think the first chapter will have to be about surviving day-to-day -day dangers. Things like where it is and isn't safe to find food, the dangers of radiation, and how to avoid and even profit from dangerous landmines. Ooh, it sounds like fun, doesn't it? Which do you want to do first? Getting food doesn't sound bad. What are you looking for? Well, food and medicine. Everyone needs them once in a while, right? So they need a good place to find them. There's an old Super Duper Mart not far from here. I need to know if a place like that still has any food or medicine left in it. Okay, I'll check it out. Oh, great! Food is most important, but see if you can get medicine, too. And if there's nothing to find, then just come back in one piece, okay? Alright. Let's see what you have for sale. Sure thing. I don't even have any money, do I? No, I don't. Let's see. Let's see for the weapons. She has an Arisaka Type 99. Bolt action. Colt M4A1 with silence, silencer and EOTech. Aim point. Frag grenades. Frag mine. MP40s. Car 98Ks. M3A1 grease gun. The motion agent. A pool cue. STG. 
Oh. What does that take? That takes... Damn. I don't even have that. So what do you matter? Oh, that sucks. This sucks so bad. Cause I want that. I want the STG-44. Lustrum, Guha. Brass Knuckles. Bullshit. I don't want that. Alright. I'll sell this. Sell this crap. I don't need the baton. I don't want this thing. It's actually, maybe I do. Ah, that's it. I have caps. It's awesome. Good hunting. All right, I have to go. Remember, I'll buy whatever you're selling. Yeah, you better, because 